What's up? What's poppin'? And what's Gucci? Baby. All right, today, I'm not trying to dress up for you. I'm not trying to look nice. I look a mess, all right? And that's just how the day is gonna be, you know? Not everybody can be looking like freaking Beyonce on a, on, a, on a daily basis, you feel me? Like, sometimes you gotta look like suburban prince, and that's okay, that's okay. All right. But today we are back with another YouTube video. We getting it in. We getting it in. We in there like somewhere in booty hair. All right. So I got this video sent into me. I haven't never watched it. It looks crazy like always. And it looks very interesting. So we're gonna get into it. Before we start this YouTube video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my other social medias. All right. Y'all know how the game goes. Y'all know how this thing rolls. All right. So let's get into it. Grab your popcorn. Grab your quarantine milkshakes and grab your covers because we about to get into some things. Now let's get it. As we start, we're already into a very creative mindset. A very creative mindset that I see um, that he's doing. I don't know why he's doing it because it sounds stressful and annoying that he's even doing something this kind of crazy. But he basically has a rat or a hamster, I don't mean to identify him as a rat, um, um, in, a, uh, in a hamster m wheel, spinning to create friction or whatever the hell, and to make electricity for light bulb come out like it's 1850s. I don't know why he's doing it, but it, it really puts stress on my mind and on my head. This looks very, um, what I call stupid. 40-year-old IT worker Michael McSurley spends his time inventing new ways to cut costs. So far, his creations have reduced his monthly spending down to under a thousand dollars. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The normal, the normal middle, middle, middle class, well, middle wage, I guess, I would say it's like 50k a month. Now I know a lot of people make underneath 50k, but I'm just let's just say he makes 5k a month, right? 5k. Let's say you have to pay mortgage. Mortgage in Tennessee is not that expensive. It, like 1500 on mortgage. All right. So now we're at if he makes 5k, 3500 dollars left. Bills are now bills and utilities probably around. $600. So as I'm editing this, I realized that I said something very, very stupid, you know? That's just the type of person I am. I am what you call a dumb. Um, don't know where I was going with this one, so this will be cut short. Don't know why I said 50K a month. That sounded even more ridiculous. I'm sorry. I really am. But I'm a dumb discovery that I've made, way to save on coffee, I enjoyed my coffee in the morning, I have made my own little coffee device out of an old sock, a cup, and a twisty tie. Sir, that is the most, dis that is so nasty, that is so nasty, sir, that is so nasty. I don't understand who, what, and when, who told you this was an idea, what gave you that thought, and when did you get it? Why is there even a doo-doo color type of sock in your mug? This is litter, god damn, I just don't understand these people! It annoys me that you guys go to extreme measures just to save a dollar. You, I can see if y'all were saving $60,000 a year. I can see if you were saving, what the hell is on my rep? I can see if you were saving millions upon millions of dollars a year. Shit, I can even see if you were saving about $1,000 a week. But you are literally saving a nickel. So I go to my water, which I've boiled in a pan that's multi-purpose, and I pour it into the coffee grounds through the sock, and the sock becomes filtered. And then I can serve. I save, you know, dollar. I 
I am at a loss for words. What in thy f This is basically a prototype. This is definitely is not a finished product by any means. But this is a utility belt that I thought I could use, you know, working in the garage or under the house, and it is made entirely of duct tape. I developed a method with rubber bands to keep my soap levitated off of that water. It lets it dry, it prevents mildew, and my soap lasts double the amount of time it would normally last. This is basically a prototype. This is definitely is not a finished product by any means, but this is a utility belt that I thought I could use, you know, working in the garage or under the house, and you can just put it on as so, and then put your tools, and it is made entirely of duct tape. I developed a method with rubber bands to keep my soap levitated off of that water. It lets it dry, it prevents mildew, and my soap lasts double the amount of time it would normally last. And that, my friend, is what I call an artiste. He's an artist. We can see that Michael, almost called him Jim, because he has a gym fit on. Uh, Michael, you do have a creative mindset, but there is there's really mentalities from that redneck ancestry that is coming out. But there, this, some of this stuff is actually creative and smart. The duct tape one, I don't think was smart or creative. I think it was very middle school. But the rubber band one looks very ghetto, looks very wholesome though, and I kind of like it. But there's no but to it. Normally last. I'm probably saving between eighty and hundred dollars a year just on soap alone. Let's do the math. He's saving on a hundred dollars a year, cause I hear this number thrown around it constantly. A hundred dollars divided by twelve is eight goddamn dollars a month. That is not doing anything to your bank account. It's not. It's not helping. It's not decreasing. I mean, it is decreasing, but not really. If you want to really save money, move out of your house and move back in with your parents. The easiest thing that I do in my kitchen is I've collected straws and I reuse straws. I like to clean them out, you know, because the outside doesn't cut it. I have actually developed this fishing line and old strips of t-shirts to clean my straws. Again, again, uh, Michael, I must call you Mitch. Very dirty, very dirty. Um, I don't know if you have heard of uh, germs or, you know, sweat. I don't know if he said he cleans the, 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 the um, shirt shrinks or whatever, but I hope you do, because after you clean them straws, they have all your gut from your mouth and from that drink in the middle of those crevices. It's very disgusting. And, and um, sir, I just advise you not to even use straws. You, you don't need them. McDonald's gives them out for free. Any fast fast, fast, fast restaurant gives them out for, sh for free. And you need to learn how to save these goddamn turtles, you bastard. Get it in here. So that's one. And they're clean. No. For Michael, it's about more than saving pennies on straws. He's trying not to spend any money at all. Again, if you do not want to spend money, sell your house, move back in with your parents and eat all their food. I'm giving you guys ways and examples to make your dream come true, you know? A way I save my water bill is I actually save my water after my showers. Here's the point I'm getting at. You stink. If that's the case. That is disc... I am literally tired of these people not respecting the hygiene, hygiene drip. You're not respecting the drip of hygiene. You're not respecting the morals of hygiene. You're not respecting hygiene at all. This is... It, it literally gives me stress that y'all are willing to save 25 cents over cleaning your 
And yo, you walk around smelling like the gutter water to, to save a quick dollar. So I collect the water in the tub, get a bucket, and uh, actually scoop it out, take it to where I need to use it. Uh, other places in the house, including, you know, washing the dishes once a week, including doing the laundry once a month. And I can even um, use that water and put it in the toilet to flush it. My guy, we are newt doing that dirty feet water on dishes. Do y'all, have you not heard of C-O-R-O-N-A? Don't think you who's. I don't think you who's. The laundry once a month? Oh no, there must be some reusing clothes going on here. Uh-uh, no ma'am. All right, well that's it for everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. I loved you guys making it. I hope you guys enjoyed and watched it all the time. I love you guys so much. Um. We'll be posting tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Also, give me other ideas that you guys want me to do. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to follow my other social medias. Love you guys so much. We out of here. What's up? What's poppin' and what's Gucci, baby? Yeah.